Hello guys, welcome to windowsreport.com. So have you ever stumbled upon the IA store data ASVC process on your Windows Test Manager which utilizes a high percentage of your CPU? If you did stumble upon this process, I'm gonna show in this video how to fix it. <music> Firstly, to rule out any other possibilities, we're gonna have to run a full system scan. That's very important. So for that, I'm gonna recommend you a program called Bitdefender 2019. You're gonna have the link for this program in the description down below. So go check that link in the description. Just scan your PC and get rid of all your viruses and maybe malware files that you have in your system. So this process is associated with the Intel Rapid Storage Technology. So we're gonna have to to uninstall this program we're gonna have to press the Windows plus R keys at the same time and here we're gonna have to type in app .cpl and then press enter here in the list you're gonna have to search for the Intel rapid storage technology you can also use this search bar in my case I don't have an Intel processor so I don't have that program but you're gonna have to find it click on it and then uninstall after that you're gonna have to do a system restart as an alternative you could disable IA store data SVC in services so for that you're gonna have to press the Windows plus R keys again and here you're gonna have to type in services.msc then press enter a large list of services will appear on your screen here you're gonna have to search for Intel rapid storage technology as I've said in my case I don't have an Intel processor so I don't have it but you're gonna have to search for it and when you find it you're gonna have to double click on it and then where it says startup type you're we're gonna have to select disabled and then click apply and okay by doing this settings hopefully now the problem is solved but I'm gonna advise you to update your Windows operating system because having the latest version of Windows can solve many other errors not only this one so to update Windows you're gonna have to click on the start button and then go to this icon which will lead you to the settings window here you're gonna have to scroll down to update and security and here in the Windows update tab Windows will automatically check for updates and will install the updates when you're ready. So guys, I'm hoping after watching this video, you managed to solve the problem and that process is not using a high percentage of your CPU or overheat your CPU anymore. So this was the video guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time, have a nice day.